Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Let Me Be Frank Productions. Get your laugh on with Frank. I've been wanting to get this lady on for a long time. She is such a talent, and she's from the area. Ladies and gentlemen, opera singer, Jennifer Stevens. Welcome to Frankly Green Bay. Got my friend Jennifer Stevens. How you doing, Jennifer? You. you know, we run into each other in South Dakota. Yes. How does that happen? I mean, I haven't seen you in, in, in a little bit. We're yes. friends on Facebook. Yes. Tell me about South Dakota. What was that? That was quite an experience. I, uh, a friend of mine um, told me to apply for the artist in residence at uh, Crazy Horse Memorial. And so I did, and I, um, they contacted me, gave me a wonderful package, uh, $2,500 for a scholarship nice. to go to Italy. Um, I trained there for three weeks. And then I also was an artist in residence, so I was able to be showcased as an artist for the month. Now let's go way back. Let's go way back. Okay. You know, when did you know you wanted to sing? You probably were singing as a little girl, right? Yes, I noticed little little um, bits and pieces, little moments yeah. in my in my life since I was little. Yeah. Yes. And then at seven. A seven. So in mm -hmm. high school, were you singing, and then you thought yeah. I'm going to go to school for Mid this? Middle school, I start. I started. I went back into I was, choir. Choir okay. is where it all began. Um, but also, um, when I was 17, I had David Slotik. Ooh, I know Dan. David Slotik. <laughs> Shout <laughs> Thanks out. Thanks to him. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, when I was a junior, he invited me to join the choir. Okay. I was out of the choir for a couple years, and then junior, and he encouraged me. And then he tested my voice, and I have a three-octave range. Uh -huh. And so anyways, he said, Jennifer, you can go to any school you want to with, with, with the voice and range that you have. You know, when I look at all, all the things you've done in your career, of course, singing was always first. But... You also um, create art. Yes. And you yes. also are, are a healer. Of yes. Like, like, I love the energy work that you do. Yes. First of all, let's talk about the art. Okay. When did, when did that? I've always been artistically okay. inclined. Yeah. In 98, 99, I um, was introduced to a local artist, um, Rose Kerstetter. Kerstetter. She is now, um, I think, 98 years old, and she invited me to come into her um, pottery workshop, yeah. shop, uh, um, Oneida Pottery Workshop. I didn't know that Oneida's made pottery because you always think of the southwestern tribes that do. Sure. So it is that changed my life because I, she asked me to be her apprentice. I've been teaching let's for 15 years. Let's talk about the because I watched your little video and I oh. love it, by the oh. way, because you have, you have three levels. Yes. You yes. know, the pinch pots you start. Yes. And then, then that's for the beginners. That's the, that's the younger kids, which my kids would love that, yes. by the way. And then the, the intermediate and then the high schoolers. And then Wow, some of the stuff you've created. How how are sales going with some stuff you create? Um, I my sales are are good when I can get them created fast enough. Okay. That's the yeah. thing um, with creating because I have some orders. Um, the thing was that um, because I'm a hand builder, it really takes yeah. 18 hours, 24 hours, 10 to 24 hours to make a piece. Let's talk about you. You're a singer. You're a teacher. You also do um, this uh, composer. Yes. And energy work. Talk about the energy work. Is energy that kind work. Of oh, that's interesting. Yes. Okay. I think um, that's pretty cool. Oh, thank you. With the energy work, I um, I was fortunate. I think I was like 22 years old, and a man um, came from Ontario, from Canada, and he was, I believe, he was Oneida, but he came into our community and he was teaching um, Indigenous hands on healing. Yeah. So we learned how to to like um, basically clearing and healing. Yeah. But with our hands, yes. and it's and it's and it's you know a, a tradition. It's it's part of our culture, um, Native American culture, as as Haudenosaunee people, Oneida people. Join me next week as we talk about Jennifer again. <laughs> she has a professional opera she's going to perform in. Check it out next week.